not to be confused with Pagsanghan, one of the municipalities of the province of Western Samar in the Philippines. Pagsangan, pronounced Pagsanghan, officially the municipality of Pagsangan, Tagalog, Bayan ng Pagsangan, is a third-class municipality in the province of Laguna, Philippines. According to the 2015 census, it has a population of 42,164 people, situated about 92 kilometers 57 miles southeast of Manila. Pagsangan is the tourist capital of Laguna and the home of the Bancaro Festival. The Bancaros are tour guides, who steer the tourists' boats. They are the boatmen who shoot the 14 rapids between rocks and boulders all the way to the Pagsangan Falls, or Magdapio Falls, for which the town is well known but are actually located in the neighboring municipality of Cavinti. The Bancaro Festival is celebrated in the month of March. The incumbent mayor of Pagsangan, Laguna is Gurley J. Ejercito, known as former actress Maida Sanchez. She is also the wife of Emilio Ramon. Jorge Estragon Jr. Ejercito, who served as mayor from 2001 to 2010 and previous governor of Laguna. For 170 years, 1688 to 1858, Pagsangan was the capital of the province of Laguna. During this long period, the town prospered as the commercial, cultural and learning center of the province, and was called the Athens of Laguna. Etymology Pagsangan is located in the riparian delta formed by the confluence of the Balanac and Bumbungan rivers. Originally named Pinagsingahan, meaning branching or juncture, the town was given renamed Pagsangan by early Spanish colonists, because they found it extremely difficult to pronounce its polysyllabic name. Geography Pagsangan has a land area of 26.4 square kilometers. It is located about 92 kilometers 57 miles southeast of Manila. It is bounded on the east by the Balubad Mountain, on the west by the capital town of Santa Cruz, on the north by the San Isidro Hill and Laguna de Bay, on the northeast by the town of Lumban, on the southeast by the towns of Cavinti and Louisiana, on the south by Mount Banaha, and on the southwest by the town of Magdalena. Barangays. Pagsangan is politically subdivided into 16 barangays. History Pagsangan was originally a barrio of Lumban. In 1668, eight Japanese and Chinese traders who were highly impressed by the strategic location of the barrio at the juncture of Balanac and Bumbungan rivers founded the town. They established a trading settlement and engaged in the betelnut industry. In time, the barrio became the flourishing trading center of eastern Laguna and attracted families from the surrounding communities of Cavinti and Pila. On December 12, 1668, the then governor, General Juan Manuel de la Peña Bonifaz, issued a gubernatorial decree elevating its status from barrio to a town. In 1688, Pagsangan replaced Bay as the capital of the province. It remained such until 1858, during which it bloomed as the cultural and commercial center of the province. Pagsangan residents Like all people in the world, the Pagsanganos are hospitable and friendly to all visitors, especially the foreigners. They are warm-hearted, fiesta-loving and witty. In time of peace, they are amiably peaceful, civic-spirited, and cheerful, in time of war, however, they are brave, intensely patriotic, and fight with fury. They are loyal and proud of their beloved town and ancestral heritage. The people of Pagsangan are also fortunate to have a resplendent cultural heritage. This culture is a harmonious blending of the Asian, Hispanic, Mexican, and American civilization influences. It is revealed in their rich folklore, customs and traditions, and colorful fiestas. During colonial times, Pagsangan was a famous center of culture. Her people, according to Fray Félix de la Huerta, Franciscan friar chronicler, were muy culto, highly cultured. The Pagsangenos then cherished good education. They sent their children to the elementary school to learn the fours Rs, reading, writing, arithmetic, and religion. Children of the rich families studied in the homes of private teachers. 
After acquiring the fundamentals of Spanish and Latin languages, they were sent to Manila to obtain higher education at the Ateneo de Manila, College of San Juan de Latran, and in the University of Santo Tomas. It is a fact that during the Spanish regime Pagsingen among all towns in Laguna had the highest percentage of illustrados intellectuals. This old tradition of acquiring a good education still exists among present-day Pagsingenios. To them, a college diploma is a status symbol. Today numerous Pagsingenios study law, medicine, education, nursing, engineering, and other college courses in the colleges and universities in Manila and in foreign countries. As a cultured people, the Pagsingenios take pride in their fine homes with beautiful furniture, oil paintings, pianos, and rugs, in their well-groomed lawns, and flower gardens, in their clean, beautiful streets, and sidewalks, and in their attire and personal appearance. But because of the destruction of their ancestral homes in Pagsingen and the threat of the Huck movement in the towns and barrios of Laguna Province, many Pagsingenio families evacuated their native town and moved permanently to the Greater Manila area. This exodus of Pagsingenio families mostly represented the elite of the local population, including rich landlords and the talented intellectuals. A few prominent families noted for their lineage and inherited wealth, however, remained in town and cooperated with the common people in the rebuilding of their ruined town. The rich Pagsingenio families who left the town resided in Manila, Pasay, Makati, Caloocan City, and San Juan, where they built their homes and reared their families. Some of them sold their ancestral residential lots in Pagsingen, for they had no intention of restoring their old homes in town. They became absentee landlords, for they simply employed some persons called encargados to manage their family rice farms and coconut plantations. Demographics in the 2015 census, the population of Pagsingen was 42,164 people, with a density of 1,600 inhabitants per square kilometer or 4,100 inhabitants per square mile. Notable Pagsingenios Gregorio F. Zaid, famous historian and author. Dean of Filipino Historiographers. Pedro Pelaez, educator, priest and is considered the father of Filipinization of the Church and the godfather of the Philippine Revolution. Leandro H. Fernandez, educator, author and historian. Francisco Benitez, first dean of UP College of Education, educator and author, husband of Paz Marquez Benitez, Vicente F. Fabella, educator, economist, civic leader and first Filipino certified public accountant Severino Taino, brigadier general, friend of Pisciana Rizal Virginia Lamas, queen of Manila Carnival in 1922 and wife of Carlos P. Romulo Emilio Ramon. Jorge Estragon, Jr. Ejercito a.k.a. Ur Ejercito, actor and former governor of Laguna, famous for the movie Aishing Salonga and El Presidente. Gurley. Maida. Javier Sanchez Ejercito, former actress, current mayor of Pagsingen and wife of former Laguna governor Jorge E.R. Ejercito III. Joseph. Irap. Ejercito Estrada, born in Tondo, Manila but considered himself as a true son of Laguna because his ancestors originated in Pagsingen. Ernesto Maceda, former councillor of Manila, former senator, columnist and lawyer. June Lazarte, a famous Filipino animal trainer who became famous for his dog named Saber. Mario Montenegro, actor. Abner Afueng, media man, former police officer and former mayor of Pagsingen Louis Ignacio, TV director Pagsingen March The official song of the municipality of Pagsingen and its people is Pagsingen March. The anthem was composed by Rogel Taino, a native of Pagsingen. See also Pagsingen Falls Pagsingen Arch Our Lady of Guadalupe Parish Church Pagsingen 
Pagsingen Municipal Hall Bumbungan River Battle of Pagsingen References External links Pagsingen Laguna Bankero Festival www.pagsingen.com PH Philippine Standard Geographic Code Philippine Census Information Local Governance Performance Management System